Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be discussing Core's unique role in Web3, specifically when it comes to Bitcoin. Imagine if you could use Bitcoin inside of DeFi, dApps, NFTs, but without losing any of that security that makes Bitcoin what it is. In this video, I'm going to discuss how Core is really changing the game for Bitcoin inside of Web3. All right, so as we know, Bitcoin is the OG of cryptocurrency, right? It's the most secure, the most decentralized, and the best store of value. When it comes to Web3, when everything is about decentralized finance, dApps, and taking your crypto and actually putting it to work, Bitcoin is really lacking. It's like a classic sports car. It's awesome for speed, but it's lacking in some of the features that are needed for this Web3 fast lane. And don't get me wrong, I love Bitcoin, but the same reasons why we love Bitcoin, that security and decentralization are the same reasons that it's missing out on so much. So this is where Core steps in. Core is the proof of stake layer for Bitcoin and brings it into this DeFi ecosystem, ultimately bringing it into Web3 and unlocking possibilities that were once thought out of reach. All right, so you're probably wondering why is Core able to do this? Why haven't other blockchains done this? What makes Core so unique? So let me explain. Unlike most layer two blockchains, Core is designed with Bitcoin at its core, literally. If you look at Core's consensus mechanism, Satoshi Plus, two of the parts to Satoshi Plus are based around Bitcoin, non-custodial Bitcoin staking and proof of work from the Bitcoin miners themselves. And Core actually helps to secure the Bitcoin miners, but we're gonna get into that later in the video. And the best part is that Core is completely EVM compatible. EVM is a software platform that allows developers to build dApps and smart contracts. And it is the most popular software platform. It's used on chains like BNB, Ethereum, and many more. So for all the builders that have built applications on these other platforms, moving it to Core is as simple as a couple clicks. But now on Core, they have the added bonus of integrating Bitcoin. By using Core, Bitcoin no longer has to just sit in your wallet collecting dust. You can now put it to work in various DeFi protocols, mint NFTs, and interact with a whole bunch of decent centralized apps. So if you've got some Bitcoin, you can now stake it and earn yield, lend it out, use it as collateral, and so much more on top of that. It's like turning Bitcoin into a supercharged multifunctional asset all within a secure and decentralized environment or unlocks Bitcoin's true potential in Web3. Now let's dive a little more into what this means for you. How does this help you get the most out of your Bitcoin? And this applies to you whether you're a Bitcoin miner, a Bitcoin holder, or just a Web3 enthusiast. First off, as I mentioned earlier with Satoshi Plus, Core actually acts as a second block reward for Bitcoin miners. So as you might know, with the halving every four years, miners' profitability gets cut in half, and for them to continue to secure the network in the future, they're going to need some extra rewards. So if you just hold Bitcoin or want to see it succeed in any way, Core is already helping you. The next way is through interoperability. Finally, Bitcoin can interact with other blockchains, apps, and smart contracts without needing centralized exchanges. You can move your Bitcoin across multiple chains, making it more versatile than ever. And as I mentioned earlier, there's all the DeFi opportunities. Imagine being able to put your Bitcoin to work for you. You can interact with all these different DeFi opportunities like staking, lending, and so much more without selling your Bitcoin. And there's transforming Bitcoin into a yield-bearing asset. With Core's non-custodial Bitcoin staking, Bitcoin holders can stake their assets on the Bitcoin network and earn yield. And this is without giving up custody of their assets or moving them to another chain. This all happens natively on the Bitcoin chain. This adds no new trust assumptions, no new risk. Simply Bitcoin yield being unlocked. And then Core makes it possible to dive into this world of NFTs and decentralized apps with Bitcoin. So you get the security of Bitcoin, but with the freedom and creativity of Web3. Now let's end this video off talking a little bit about Core's vision for the future. So Core is just getting started. The mainnet launch was actually only January of last year. With its vision of bringing Bitcoin to Web3, Core is laying the foundation for a fully interoperable blockchain ecosystem. Developers can build apps that combine the power of Bitcoin with the flexibility of EVM smart contracts, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And as Core continues to scale, the Bitcoin Web3 ecosystem and the opportunities for BTC5 will only continue to grow. Just to wrap it up, Core is revolutionizing how we traditionally see Bitcoin's role in Web3 and how it can be used. It's giving Bitcoin a place in decentralized finance, dApps, and much more without sacrificing what makes Bitcoin so valuable. If you're a builder, you should really start to build on Core. All right, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please slap a like on the video. Please consider subscribing. If you've got any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. But if not, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.